it's Thursday, December 15th. We're almost, we're almost at that time. It's almost the holiday. I'm excited, I'm excited to be vlogging again. I love doing this and I love just like talking to myself and hanging out with you guys. It's sick, but it's fun. I just have a bit of computer work today and then there's a sample sale that I wanna go to. Um, it's the by far sample sale. I feel like I always find out about them from TikTok of people being like, hey, like I just went to the sample sale, look what I got and it freaking, it freaking worked. So I'm gonna try to go to that later today after I get some work out of the way. And then maybe if I have time to get a manicure. We have a lot of travel coming up. Like we're leaving, um, we're leaving tomorrow for LA and Utah and I wanna get my nails done. So that's what's on the menu for today. I'm gonna make my breakfast on this pan. This is your friendly weekly reminder that the Our Place pans just aren't that great. Don't believe the hype. I regret everything. And now I'm in too deep because I love the aesthetic and I'm hooked on it. I literally have I have its bestie over there. The pot is just like, Instagram got me. There she is. It honestly looks a little sad, but I'm really, we're running out of groceries. I just put a little bit of chili crisp on top of the egg. Put this on anything and it just makes it dramatically better. What happened to today? Literally the last time I checked in with you guys, I was making, making like a breakfast brunch, talking about everything I had planned. Nothing, <laughs> nothing happened. I was chained to my desk all day. I managed to take a shower though. The nails. The nails didn't happen. <laughs> Priority for tonight. Going to my friend Sophia's for like a white elephant, Christmas cookie decorating, extravaganza. So that'll be nice. It's a good reason, honestly, if I didn't have any plans tonight, I would probably just take the L and chill at home. But I'm I'm glad that I have an excuse to leave. I'm gonna go to the buy far sample sale. <clears throat> I'm ready to I'm ready to kick a girl for a bag. The deals look really great. If it didn't look so good, I probably wouldn't go, but like, I gotta know. Doing a white elephant gift exchange with like random shit in our homes. So I think I'm just gonna make like a little goodie bag of like, like I have like a banana. I just like, I want it to be funny, but also like get rid of things that I don't really need. What would be like random? I wish I had like Olipop. Oh, maybe, a, oh, that's funny. Maybe a beer. Happy holidays. It's raining. I just went back to get my umbrella. And it's the way that I literally said to myself, oh good, less people will be at the sample sale. You don't understand how cutthroat these are. Fresh out of the sample sale, you weren't allowed to take any pictures or videos in there, like not even on your phone. So it was a really serious operation. It was okay, I guess. Like a lot of good styles for the bags and the shoes, but not a lot of good colors left. And honestly, I'm usually a really big fan of By Far, but the stuff was just kind of getting cheap today. Now I'm heading over to Sophia's for some cookie decorating and gossip. She lives at my old apartment, which is so trippy. was so fun and wholesome. We're leaving in like two hours to go to the airport. We're going to LA and then we're going to Utah. A lot happening, holiday season. I feel like my friends and Jack's family are really used to me like doing TikTok and stuff, but the YouTube stuff is all new and I'm just like, I don't know how they're gonna receive me having this like clunky camera out and recording myself. It's embarrassing enough without their judgment, but I'm hopeful they'll be supportive. I think definitely his family will be. I, I don't know how my friends will take it. Stuff. I love vlogging and I love doing this, but I also wanna respect their privacy. We'll see how it goes. Jack's all done packing. Gets to watch me suffer. He's watching surfing. Always <laughs> the surfboards are paid actors. <laughs> one full suitcase and carry on and a few personal items. Mm, I'm, it's not going great. We're at the airport, we, I just put all my stuff down with Jack. I'm just wearing too many layers. Like you know when you overpack and at the last minute you're like, oh shit I forgot, like this sweater, I forgot this jacket. You just like pile on all the layers. Like I'm, I'm cooking, I'm steaming. We got food for the day, we got 12 chairs. I don't know why, like no matter what you eat, if you bring it on a plane and it's not like a chip, or nuts. I'm always grossed out. Like, thank God we didn't get like tuna or anything like that. Could have been really bad, but even so, it's like that. We're gonna get into LA. We get in like around like midnight LA time, and then we're staying at one of my best friends from colleges and her boyfriend. So we're gonna stay there for the night, and I'll take you guys along. <laughs> We landed really like super, super, super late last night at our friends Danielle and Michaels. They live in Marina Del Rey, which is right by Venice. It's funny, their complex is almost like, <laughs> like a retirement community. Like it has, it has everything. It has tennis courts, it's right on the water. They have kayaks, like bikes you can ride. It's just like, 
it feels fake. We're gonna go, we're gonna go to the farmer's market and like do a little walk. Our other best friends are gonna come over and make breakfast and then, I don't know, we'll see where the day take to, takes us. I have a feeling we're gonna be drinking. Boys, we're back with Jenna's boyfriend. Whatever. Yes, it's really exciting. It's really exciting. Also, Jack and Connor have never met, and this is just like iconic. It's so important. They're just like they're just little scruffy men. I know. You know? I like we did it. We did it. We're making a stunning <laughs> spread. Jenna's making tequila, 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 and then we're making tequila green juice cocktails because obviously, yes. That's how you know we're so we're so lovey. But I'll show you the spread. We'll spread from the farmers market, and then these stunning juices. We sample this, it's gonna be so good with tequila. Pineapple, apple, lime, and ginger. We're going to a bar. We're gonna do a little bit of light makeup. That's me on that. <laughs> nothing crazy. Just a touch. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Yeah, I've been loving this one. This is the Tower 28. Mmm. She's good. My skin's just like she's not down. Mm. She's not down for the. Your skin looks so good. Thank you. Thank you, Tay. I think I need hard drugs. It's honestly and that's hard okay. drugs. Are, hard drugs are you're you want to deny them at first. I know. But then they call to you, and you're like. I don't think I've ever loved like I've loved you. I know. I'm like over it. You know what I mean? I feel like it's like every other day at this point. That's like I wake I up or something and like I just don't wanna no, that's, have to worry about it. Accutane, so I take it every other day. So it's it's a lot easier on your GI tract. Oh, every other day. Yeah. How long are you on it? I'm still on it now. Oh, how do you, do you feel like it affects you with drinking though? So uh, the days that I take it, I don't drink. So like I didn't take it today. Oh, you didn't take it today because you're no. getting Turn Some, today. Sometimes I honestly have been taking it three times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Or Monday, no, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. It was not bad. I just said every day of the week. I'm like, Mom. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's nothing. It, it's like it's changed yeah. my skin. I never used to have skin like this in college. Same. People are getting um acne later and later now. I think it's the what food that we're eating. I was just about to say, I feel like it's like GMOs. Is mm -hmm. that like sick? I think it's the best we're gonna get. <laughs> I love it. I feel like you need to move to LA. No. Oh. <laughs> Feel that way at all. Okay, we're at the Airbnb. It's so much nicer than I expected. I didn't expect it not to be nice, but like, okay. It's a studio, technically. Yeah, Wait, this is great. Oh my god, in the kitchen? Wait. Option one shake. Love. Love. Obsessed. Yes. Okay. Love. 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 These are our fits. Obviously, oh. you've met Jen already. Wait, this lighting is. I did know here too. Come down. <laughs> Amelia Earhart's here as well. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Ciao! Abbott Kim. Alright, you guys, you want to see the jacket? Yeah, let's go. Same. I really like the other day, we'll see. I like the inside of it too. Yeah. I feel like. Ooh, Mike! <laughs> <laughs> you look great. It's the sisterhood of the traveling jacket. So funny. This is like this I put my hand in his glass. That looks good. <laughs> Jenna, I literally just said that. No, but I'm validated. Okay. Fucking ceramic. Wait. <laughs> it's giving lava. I love it. I think we should. Okay. Ooh, it's fuzzy on the inside. Lobami. It's kind of giving like security guard vibes. Yeah. I love it. I fucking love it. No Get the same one. Bro. Uh, Dinner was sensational. So good. I feel like it's like American bar in New York, but like eight, like eight cuts above. So good. And also this lighting is given. Back at the B and B. It's like it's so wholesome to be here. I get down on myself about like having enough friends in New York. I need to remember like so many of my friends are here. But no, I, I need to make more of an effort to come out here more because Jen and Danielle are like easily my two best friends from college, and I just like want to be more present here. But even so, like every single time we come, it's like. I always feel like I live here, you know? You know. Jack went to a yoga class this morning. He went to the- <laughs> You talking shit? I'm, oh my God. 
I'm not talking shit. We went to Moto Yoga in Vegas. It was actually, it was the same instructor that you usually have here. What'd you just say? You was Moto Yoga. Did I just say in Vegas? Vegas. What the fuck? You're okay. No. Why would I say Vegas? You want to go to Vegas? No. I really don't want to go to Vegas. Do you? <laughs> Did that this morning while I was with Whitney and then we all met up. For burritos. I've been wearing the Prada Paradox lately. It's honestly... It smells like a sexy strawberry. That's all I can. That's all I can say. Like, okay, if strawberry shortcake was a sexy teenage girl, she would be wearing this. She's my inspo. Abbott Kenny. <laughs> We're going back. There's a men's only Madewell store in Abbott Kenny, and we went there last night, and they're having 50% off. Five zero. And honestly, I mean, like, I feel like I wear men's clothes all the time, but everything was really hitting there last night. They put on hold this really great jean jacket. Oh, chill. I know, it feels good though. Chilly, but it's like not jacket chilly. It's the kind of weather where you leave the house without a jacket and then you buy one. I like this, this is like a flower. She's always ready for the, the theme. Um, <laughs> you want my jacket? No, I'm okay for, ooh, this is cool. Uh-oh. Let's see, yeah. Oh my, oh, we've lost him. He's changed. <laughs> they look better with the fit. I say we keep them on. Yeah. <laughs> We're going back to Danielle and Michael's. We're gonna cook them dinner. We wanted, we were thinking about going out to eat, but we've just been eating out nonstop. And also cooking for them could be like a nice little thank you. So I think we're gonna make curry. I'm telling you, every single time I go to LA, I end up at this Trader Joe's. Really? Yes. It's our last day in LA. We really only have the morning and the early afternoon and then our flight is at 4 p.m. It's Monday, so I'm working today. I'm working East Coast hours my bed. Freaking brutal. We did a little stint here over COVID and worked East Coast hours on West Coast timing and it just, it's not for me. I don't do well like waking up at 6 a.m. every single day. It's just not for me. That said, getting off work at 3 was the shit. I vlogged yesterday on TikTok, not on YouTube, but we went shopping at the Third Street Promenade Got these shoes from Madewell. I guess they're like Ugg slipper dupes of the ones like the, of the Tasmans that are always sold out, but they are amazing. Madewell was having 50% off their whole store and then they were additionally on sale. These were literally like 30 bucks. They're so soft. I wore, I wore them to dinner last night, I'm obsessed. Also went to Cotton On. I've never been to Cotton On. I always see, I always see a bunch of Australian influencers posting about it. It's like a mix of American Eagle and PacSun, but I got these amazing parachute pants. I figured they'd be good. I can wear, I can layer them with leggings in Utah. And then of course I can just like wear them with a tube top in the summer. No, that was great. And I think I'm just gonna get dressed and then more coffee. I don't deserve Jack. I was doing work on my computer and he packed up my whole bag and pulled aside the clothes I'm gonna wear on the plane. He's a gem. I'm so at peace. Like yesterday was so nice. I hadn't taken a day off. Like I hadn't taken PTO in such a long time. And I don't, I didn't realize how badly I needed it. My company doesn't have unlimited days off. So I feel like I'm always really sheepish and overthink taking days at all because I'm like crazy and want to save them up. But like save them up for what? Like you gotta, you gotta take your days. I mean, if you've been hoarding your PTO or just like haven't taken it, please take your time off. Like you'll feel, you'll be such a better human. And I used to think I needed like to have like something special planned or like travel to take PTO. But like, I mean, I'm a bad example because I am, I am traveling, I am in LA, but like you don't need shit. Like just take your days, they're yours. Okay, we're about to get on the plane. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in Utah.